We're here at Ready Today to install one of the first Powerwall 2 installations. Uh, Daylight Energy has been installed in batteries now for some time uh, and we've been eagerly awaiting the test of Powerwall 2. Powerwall 1 was launched just over a year ago and we've been installing it since then. We've been eagerly awaiting the Powerwall 2. Now the difference between the two, the first Powerwall 1 had a storage capacity of 7 kilowatts and all it did was take the surplus energy from the solar system and store it in a battery to use as and when our customers needed it. Now the Powerwall 2 is twice that, 14 kilowatts. As well as that, there's a few upgrades they've done as well, so it can work in the event of a power cut, so it'll have an additional gateway that will allow it to do that. And it also stores electricity, not just from the unused electricity from your solar panels, but also store it from the grid at off-peak times to use in the peak hours. I've got to start thinking about how I can use all that energy mm -hmm. in some way or another, so I start doing a bit of research and your company and decided to, to invest in a power wall too. Fantastic. Well, being in the oil industry for 15 years and realising coming back to the UK that prices are going up yeah. um, in, in energy, in everything, uh, particularly um, electricity, it, was, it just made sense to move towards a solar panel and then looking at a, a battery. Wow. Well, knowing that we're exporting somewhere between 50 to 80 percent of our energy that the, the, the panels are actually producing because you're not using it during the yeah, day. Yeah. Um, I just started looking into the battery saying what is the best next step for the system. I had no idea what to expect. Yeah. That's when I arrived you were saying, today. yeah. As I said to you earlier, this is a it, it's a piece of furniture. As we <laughs> yeah. also were talking about. Yeah, it's a very nice uh, thing to put it in your kitchen as you're planning to do, <laughs> put it in your living room. Actually, put it in your living room is a very good way to advertise it. You don't have to bring the folks out to the garage to say, "Look, at it. come and see <laughs> yeah. what I'm doing." I'm sure Karen and Anna, when she's in school, will be going in and subject for the day. Let me tell you about my new battery yeah. and the money my dad is saving. So that he can take me to Wembley to see the next time Reading trying to get into the Premiership, etc., etc. I think this is the future. 